and today we're talking about selling your house when you're relocating from Atlanta. Um, so we have five tips about, you know, the steps that you need to take when selling your house. Um, so number one is that you need, need to find out the value of your home. Whether that be through doing research of your own and doing like the own market analysis or getting in contact with a real estate agent or even filling out a form and getting in contact with us, which is on our website or you can click the link below. Um, you need to figure out how much your house is worth because you could just kind of guess, but you could be way off. You could either be giving it away or asking way too much and resulting in it sitting on the market for way, way, way too long, which is not going to be helpful when you're trying to get out of the house and move to LA or Tennessee or wherever it is that you're looking to move. Um, so number two is that you need to also decide how fast you want to sell your house. Your timeline is everything, and you need to be very realistic with it. Um, and this kind of ties into the next point as well. But you need to figure out how fast uh, or how slow it is that you need to sell your house. Because if you put it on the market too soon and you're not looking to move for another year or so, and then it sells in like two or three months, um, you could be in trouble because that person might want to move in right then and there. Or you could wait way too long, put it on the market, expect it, to sell within two days and you're stuck with the house for another two years. Um, so the third point is that you need to go ahead and find a real estate agent or you know get in contact with us if you don't want to sell through an agent. Either way, you need to talk with a professional about selling your house. Um, so you need to start building the relationship if you want to sell to a real or sell through a real estate agent. Um, you need to start building that relationship with them, telling them what you expect. Uh, having them you know help you out with the process um, because it's not as easy as people think like you can't just if you're not gonna put your all into it selling your house by yourself is not in, it's not easy mm -hmm. and we're just gonna be real with you about that um, so number four which ties into that second point is that you need to calculate um, holding the house versus selling it as fast as possible and so figuring out your timeline is going to be the best and tying it with this point. Um, so holding the house for several months when you're not ready to move yet, obviously you're going to be paying your mortgage. You're gonna be paying insurance, you're gonna be paying utilities, you're gonna be paying uh, property tax. Like there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that goes into holding it. So if that is a big factor for you and you don't think that you can keep paying that even after you've already moved, um, you really need to consider selling your house quickly and making sure that you have all your ducks in a row before you decide to move or before you just start packing up your boxes and start saying, yep, I'm going to take this job. Um, so there's just a lot of things that you need to consider in that because um, having a vacant house isn't just having a vacant house, like having a spare house in Atlanta. Um, it takes money to have it, you know, upkeep. Um, and then on a side note about that is that if you really you have it sitting vacant and no one is there taking care of it while you're gone, you could also rack up some code violations, which is not fun. Um, they are very ruthless about that, and they will send you a code violation for you know your grass being too high, for it like just looking like it's not being taken care of. Um, and then finally, our last tip is that you need to just take action, regardless of who you're going to sell it to. Um, what professional you're going to contact about it, you need to just go ahead and do it. Even if you're not looking to sell or move for another year or so, um, you just need to keep that in the forefront of your mind because this isn't, you know, this isn't something that you just go about willy-nilly. This is your home. This is money and investment that you have put your money into. So um, you need to treat it as such and it's a big deal. So if you want 
you can click the link below, fill out the form, learn more about us and how we can help you uh, so that you can get in and out of your property as quickly as possible and onto the next stage of your life. Thanks. Talk to you next.